Hey, Kenny. Hey, Mary. I'm trying to get in my chat on my phone. So give me a moment, please. One moment, trying to get in my chat. You know, today sometime would be nice. Okay, let's see. What is happening? What is happening? All right, so let's see who's here. Um, <clears throat> hey, Shell. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Katrina. Hey, Patrice. Hey, Pickwick. Hey, Connie. Lurk away. I came on a few minutes early so that I can, um, I had a few minutes early that I could come on, so I wanted to come on to show, hey Bev, um, PDFs and stuff that I purchased um, before I do my supply stream. Um, have a lot to show, so um, we'll see how quickly we can get it all done. Um, but I'm going to show PDFs first. And then maybe by that time, everybody who wants to come in will be in to see the supplies. So, um, so yeah. So we'll just get started. How's the microphone? Is the microphone good? Is it, can you hear me? It's a little higher than normal, so I needed to know. <coughs> okay then I don't have to move it back down to my face. Um, it's higher above my head right now, so I didn't know how it was going to be. Anyway, okay, so let's just go ahead and I'll show my PDFs and um, we'll go from there. This one I um, did yesterday. Um, I colored it. It's by Zindi Nielsen and I, um, I did her yesterday. I need to find somewhere to put these. Um, I have stuff everywhere. Okay, so um, I've heard. Then I don't know where to put these. Oof, oof. I don't know where to put these. I need somewhere to put these. Ignore the crashing. Just ignore all that for a moment. Okay, so I did her, then I got some PDFs, I got this one from um, Mayumi Ogahara. There are butterflies on the page, yes, on this one, there are butterflies on this page, yes, they are. None of this is in the, none of these links are in the description, I'm just showing you. There are a bunch of links in the description, but none of these, hey Kenny, I already say hey to you, I think I said hey to you first, sorry my bad, okay. This one is from Emily. This one is from Grazia. Hey Wilson, nothing yet. This is Color in Chicks. Um, possibly I'm going to do one of these on Thursday. This is Christine Karen. This one is Katarina Art. Um, this is Katarina Art. I love this. I love, I love her stuff. This is Rayan. Rayan Art, I don't want to, let's flip these this way, and um, this is a book she had. I really, really like these two images right here, um, so I'll just show you all of these quickly, quickly, we'll just go a little quickly. Um, my nose is itching, sorry. Um, I love Ray and Art's stuff. Like I said, I, I may do Christine Karen on Thursday. So. Yeah. Hey, Louise. I really like this one too. Now this one is for a um, another event that's going on, My Bloody Valentine or something like that. I'm really not sure. I don't know about it, but I really, really like that image. But I really like um, Ray and Art. But I think I think I'm going to do 
uh, one of one of these on Thursday, I think. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really decided. Um, but I think I'm going to do one of those on Thursday. So yeah, there are some new images for you to look at. Um, so yeah, I may do one of those on Thursday. I haven't decided yet. I gotta get past today first. So, I don't know if there's anything else I need to discuss before we jump in. I would, I kind of would like to wait a few minutes to see if anybody's gonna pop in. <coughs> That's coming for the supply stream. Um, like I said, I don't know how long this will take. Um, but we will just see how it goes. And how's the sound, people? Let you know, it may be that I had, um, hey Kim, it may be that I had turned my head. It may go in and out as I turn my head to get stuff, pick things up and such. So, um, so another thing I wanted to tell you about, this month I have started something called a TBC, which is to be colored. I did a video on my first one. Um, hey, Vin Pip. I have to say it all together. I love it. <laughs> yes, always one. Um, so... So yeah, TBC, I lost my train of thought. Y'all are going to have to bear with me. I'm a little scattered today. Um, the weekend was kind of crappy, so I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little scattered today, but we'll get through this. Um, so TBC, to be colored, I've picked out um, Hey Rain. I picked out, um, I'm going to pick out books for the month that I want to like focus on. Yeah, just today, that I want to focus on for the month it doesn't include like pdfs and such like that it'll include the buddy the videos will include like my buddy colors and whatever but y'all can watch all that i don't have to replay all that here but um it's just something i thought that i would um i came up with and was like yeah that would be a good idea because you know we do tbr reading things so i thought tbc would be good so anyway okay we're gonna hop in we'll get done with the boring stuff first as people trickle on in. If I miss you today, um, it's not on purpose, as you know. And like I said, we'll try to we'll try to speed things along. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask them. I will do my best to keep up. Pop them in caps if they're for me. Also, mods will not be putting any links in the description. I mean, any links in the chat today. Um, almost all of the links are in the description. If you want a link, you can go there and grab it. Um, so mods will not do any <laughs> will not do any links today. Okay, so um, sit back, relax, mods. You don't have to um, worry about links today. Okay. So anyway, with that being said, let's um, let's carry on. I'm gonna start with tutorial books. Um, I can't, I can't. Okay, I'm going to start with the um, tutorial books, just, you know, idea books and stuff like that. We'll get that out of the way. That's kind of the boring stuff, I guess. I really enjoy them. A lot of people um, find them boring. So we're going to start with the colorist um, special effects books. And um, this one is the first one. And like I said, if you have any questions or anything, I'm not going to do complete flip-throughs or anything like that. We would be here forever. But um, this one um, is the first one. And um, I don't know if you've seen this, these, but there's, yeah, I can't, but there is a, um, uh-huh, but there is a, um, yeah, uh-huh, what this called? Index of everything that you will um, see in the book. So 
that's the first one and then I have the second one and it does the same the same little format and um, at the beginning you'll see everything that you can expect to learn or go through in the book okay and here's the third one and um, does she go um yes there was uh, there was one that I don't let me look real quick there was one that um, did have eyes here's arms legs arms legs side view maybe it's this one I think it's this one yeah this one the first one I thought it was the first or the second one um, yes here it's the first one thanks Sammy bye Patrice have a good dinner um, hey Rebel, I started a little bit early so I could show my PDFs, you know, my um, things. But yes, here it's the first one, the first one that does it. Okay, so I haven't done anything but PDFs and books. And then the fourth one, and this is the latest one, I believe. And um, so yeah, so I got this. Then I have um, this um, watercolor workshop book, and it just, I really like it um, because it like can sh it shows you different like techniques to do, and I thought this was a great book for backgrounds. I was gifted this book. Actually, Brian was gifted this book, and I stole it from him, but I digress. That doesn't matter. Um, but it shows like um, like different things for backgrounds and that's the watercolor workshop hi Angela then I have um, this one which is the complete watercolor essential notebook which um, same scenario <laughs> same scenario I uh, it was gifted to him and I took it um, but it um, you know does all kinds of things like you can it has little exercises for you to do so um, yeah so I thought that was a um, mm -hmm. when he put that ring on his finger that's what happened and then we looked at these the other day this color pencil um, painting Bible we looked at it the other day and um, so yeah hi Mandy so we looked at it the other day so no need to go through it much also with this one the colored pencil one like I said there's a lot of links um, a lot of links in the description I'm okay Mandy how are you um, so yes, I just really like this book a lot. I just want to like read it. Don't care if I um, you know, just like it a lot. That's exactly right. Rain, that's exactly right. Our also this is the last book. Is this um and this isn't really a um tutorial book, but it is a big book of color charts, the Ruby Charms book. I have not filled it all out. I have started it, um, started it, and I have made copies of some of the um, some of the pages in here to do swatches with. Um, so there are the books. Do we have any questions on the books? Am I going too fast? Am I going too slow? <coughs> are we good okay moving along okay Sammy let's let's talk about something real quick 
Hey, Charlotte. Let's talk about something real quick, Sammy. So, um, I'm doing a buddy color with Angela. And, um, and it's your deer in the suitcase, okay? And I laughed so hard watching that because you were coloring leaves and it was so funny because you were doing it like I do with two colors. What was that about? Mm-hmm. What was that about? It cracked me up. I was laughing so hard. I was like, two colors? What are we talking about? Two colors. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, Mona. I just showed books. That's all I've showed. I have and my PDFs that I bought. I haven't showed anything else. Trying to get the boring stuff out of the way. Okay, we're going to move on to paper. So, um, this is the paper that I use. This is Nina cardstock. It's the 65 pound. And I use this paper. I use this paper, which is just a, um, I use this for crafting too. Um, this is where I started was this. Um, I had some of this when I first started buying PDFs. So this is what I um, had. So that's what I started printing on. So that's when I say that um, it's, it's either one of those two. Hey Cat! And then this is the watercolor paper which is the Canson and it's 140 pound um, paper. Yeah, it cracked me up. I was like, two colors? Who are you? I was like, just wait till you see your three, your older self. Then I use the sheet protectors for holding my PDFs and three ring binders for um, PDFs. I have an Epson printer. Any questions on the paper? We good? We good. We're going to be done in 30 minutes. Just kidding. Yes, you need to watch it. It's it's you'll be you'll be like just wait, former Sammy, until you see your current Sammy. All right. So, moving along, my printer's an Epson with some numbers behind it. I don't remember. Um this is the fixative that I use um, to spray PDFs if I'm using um, chalks or anything. This is the fixative that I use for that. I also have a matte finish that I use, but I usually don't spray that. Are we good so far? Okay. Pencil sharpener is a Dolly 133. So I use for that. It every pencil I have fits in this. Even the brutes that are square. Everything fits in this pencil sharpener. We good so far? So I feel like I'm going entirely too fast. <laughs> I feel like I'm like on a like on in a race or something. Alright. We're gonna move on to um Uh, we're going to move on to like brushes and blenders and water brushes and tools and such. Okay. So, uh, here are my, um, soft tools. It's gone up in the U S Wilson. I looked the other day. It's gone up. These are the soft tool, um, things for pan pastels. And this is what they look like. I don't know if you want, you don't have to, y'all have seen all this stuff. Y'all don't have to see all this. I'm going to be doing separate videos for, um, I'm going to be doing separate videos for things. Like I'm going to do a pastels video where I show them and demonstrate them and all that stuff. Um, so there will be, um, so there will be those videos coming up where I show those things. Okay. And here I have pencil extenders. Um, 
so everybody knows what pencil extenders look like. I have a few Sharpies in here. I have extra erasers in here. You know, blah, blah. All that jazz. Okay. These are the, and I haven't cleaned them, and I need to clean them, but I haven't. These are my palettes that I use. Um, this is the Karen Dash one. And this is the um, I Don't Have a Clue one. Um, this part comes out. So, and I need to clean it. I know, don't freak out on me. Okay, then I have, um, let's do this. Let's take all this out so I can put it back in the box. Then I have, this is my pencil sharpener. A pencil sharpener? Yeah, no, not that. My eraser. Um, it's an AFMAT eraser. So I have that. I'm going to put that back up there. I have this little brush that I brush my stuff off with. Put that back up there. I use Tombow blenders. As you know, if you've been around a minute. Uh, this is a finesse blender. Hey, Vicki. Um, this is a finesse blender. And this is a Koi um, for water-based dye stuff ink ish stuff yeah mm -hmm. that this is another eraser I have um, I don't know you need a Tombow blender yes you do that sounds perfect because I have no idea Connie these also I use um, hey Carol these also I use with the um, pastels, pan pastels. They're spongy like the soft tools. They are spongy like those. And less expensive. Just saying. Um, here is the Karen Dash full blenders. I use those some. Here is my water brushes that I prefer, which is the Ohuhu water brushes. And if I'm going too fast, woe me up. If you have a question, let me know. Then I have all of these, um, all of these little detail brushes. Hi, Emily. All these little detail brushes that I don't know the name of. But that's okay because we don't have to know the name of them. Then I have these. Um, transcend brushes. Just got these. I got these when I got the gouache. Gouache. Then I have these little tortillion blending stumps. Then I have these blending brushes that I use with um okay, thanks. I um, use these with dry gelatos. Okay. Now I have this Arctic Ice. Um, thanks to old good old Connie. It's very glittery. So I have that. And I have two types of acrylic paints that I use. The This the Arctic Ice, um, you, I put it on for like snow or like ice. Um, it just makes it like glittery. It makes it look like, um, like a skating ring, like an ice skating ring. It makes it all glittery with ice, like icy. It's kind of, but you, um, it's, it's a paint on. It's like a paint on stuff. But it's so glittery. Yeah. 
It's very nice and glittery. Very nice. I recommend wiping off the edges, you know, so you don't have that problem I just had about opening it. But I like it. It's very glittery. It didn't come in um, really in time for me to work with it Christmas. But it would. it's good for um, Christmassy stuff. Hi, Sarah. Okay, so these are the two acrylic paints that I use, and that is Americana and Craft Smart. Just the inexpensive. Um, I've used these for as long as I... I used to paint names and stuff for people. And I use these for that. Let's do, um, let's do distress inks while I'm right here. Okay, I have these, um, Tim Holtz distress inks. And I have the the big pads and these are not new I've had these for so long and I have like black soot and pine needle faded jeans um, rusty hinge hey Jess broken china barn door bundled sage one that's never been opened pumice stone walnut stain weathered wood and a brushed corduroy so those are my distress inks that I have who's gonna put all this stuff up <coughs> then I have I'm gonna go ahead and show these the um, ink tents uh, pan studio set set of 24 I have this. Um, I can take it out so you can see it if you would like. Um, and it looks like this. It does have some colors that are not in the pencil set. Um, but yeah, so I have that. So there is that. Um, let's see. We're gonna. I have Jane Davenport's the watercolor little pan sets. And I couldn't find these. I can only find one link to these. And then I have the gold one. And like I said, I'm going to break these I'm going to break videos up. I'm going to do a video with all my watercolor stuff and show that. Um they're pretty pigmented. They are pretty pigmented, and I don't know, um, but yes, they are pretty pigmented. They're nice. I was surprised at how much pigment they had. And then, ooh, I have this, oh. which are, um, I'm not going to show all these, but I'm just going to, I just wanted to show you the tote so then I can pull some out. And these are, um, Amsterdam acrylic inks. So there's those. I have, you know, several colors of those. that I need to use, that I'm going to use. 
soon, soon. So I have all of those kinds. And then I have these, which are watercolor inks as well. These watercolor inks as well. And they came from uh, Hobby Lobby, which is a local store. And then this one is just a glitter. It's an additive that you add, you can add to your um, you add to your colors, put them in your palette, and then drop a couple of drip drips drips. I do. I like them. I don't use them enough because they're like put off to the corner, but I like them. Um, just add some of this in with any of those colors, and they become glittery. And then I have the Windsor and New Ten um, ink for. If I want to take out lines, if I want to take out black lines. Ooh. Are we bored yet? Let's see if I can sit this over here. Now let's go, let's do stencils next. Sorry, I gotta move around, move around. <laughs> nope, hey Terry Lynn. All right, we'll save those till later. All right, so these are Pebbles stencils. I've had these for I don't even know how long. I've had these, um, and I'll just take it. I'll show them to you. Um, so these are um, smaller stencils, but they're nice. They're nice stencils. So that's what they look like and I'll just show you the backs of the containers because it shows what's all in them whoopsie but I wanted to show you how they how big they were but these are all um, and I don't know if you want to just see the back of the box or if you want me to show them individually you can let me know I don't know if you can see the back or if you want me to show them individually, but I have those. So you can let me know if you, which you prefer. Then I have these that are more spring. This one's called spring. This one was called fancy frills. Um, I'll do them here. I'm going to lay them here. So there's four of them. I feel like I'm playing cards. And then here's the other ones. And they look like that. And these are called Fancy Frills. And then two more. This one is called Spring. These have like sunshine and flowers and an egg on them. And 
this has a bunny rabbit, more flowers, a four leaf clover, another flower on it. Hey, Shy. Another flower and an egg and a boat. And that one is the spring one. This one is called summer. Um, you could. Um, I'm not sure where I got these. I think I got them. I don't even know. I don't remember where I got them. I've had them so long. You may could find them on, um, you may could find them on, uh, Amazon. I couldn't find them when I was looking. And, um, maybe eBay. Beautiful. I like this, this edge there. Bathing suit, flip flop, sunshine. Yeah, I can't remember. I've had them so long. Is there a date on them? 2006. So, that may be an eBay purchase. But somebody may have them on eBay. Uh, pebbles stencils and then I'm not going to show all these but this is the alphabet and I'm not going to show all those y'all know what the alphabet is this one is um, Vicki um, this one is baby and we have little cute little Oliver feet we got a little binky and a diaper. We got a little moon. We got a spoon for his food. Um, we have a little rattler, a little ducky, a little bottle, a little diaper pin, and a little buggy. Your stroller buggy. Yeah, they're cute. Pebbles has some cute stuff. You may kid, well, I don't know if they would have them on the website or not. And this one is called Birthday. And it has ice cream and a birthday cake, a birthday candle, a birthday hat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're going to see his foot in a minute. Um, present, cupcake, streamy things, a balloon, another present, and another balloons. Okay. Then we have one more set of these. And then this one is called Fall. So this one is fall. I thought I had a Christmas one. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I was like, don't I have a Christmas one? Um, and this is for your pumpkin. Another pumpkin. Jack-o'-lantern for the fancy folks. Leaf. Um, pencils for back to school. Graduation hat, a bat, leaves, an acorn, a spider web, and an apple. Um, Pebbles, P-E-B-B-L-E-S. And this one is Christmas. Uh, 
Um, and we have, maybe this is holidays. No, winter, winter, this is winter. Um, and we have snowflakes and a little stocking and a snowman and a Christmas tree and some gloves and some holly and some snowflakes and some more holly, additional holly, um, candy cane and some Christmas ornaments. these stencils which I don't know if you can see you may, we may need a darker color let's, see. let's do red so I have these I don't even need that and I have no idea what these are these were like in a pack probably from just a hobby store or Walmart have these little background and then I have this one which is um, signs for energy peace love happiness hey Emma um, this one has a little fishies on it this one is a birthday one then we have these that are, um, this is a birthday one, but then it has an edge that you can use. There's baseball gloves and a bat. Um, we have doggies and kitties and another, I like this edge. Um, I'll mainly use the edges of these. And here's a wavy edge. There's like a wave. There's the tags and then you can have that in there. Here's ovals. Here's a wedding one. Sammy, ahem. Here's um, football and baseball and soccer. My stomach's growling, I'm sorry. There's another wedding one, ahem, Sammy. Um, this is a baby one. This is sailboat, Christmas tree. This is for, or not a Christmas tree, it would just be a tree because that's for like hiking and camping. This one is another birthday cakey thing. Here's a baby one. So there's those. <clears throat> then we have um, this one, this little set. And we have hearts, and we have roses, and we have a little flowery things. Um, we have, if you turn it the right way, we have a Christmas one. Hey Marilyn, we have this one, we have this little flower one, another little flower one, another flower one, heart to the rose, a bunch of flowers, little ziggy zags, heart with the rose. Hope the glare isn't hurting you too bad. This one says, time began in the garden. Little splats. Another little flowers. Circles, I like this one. Numbers. Um, waves. Uh, I like this one too. This one too. I like this one too. Um, so 
Sorry, I just got a message from Brian. Hold on, he's coming home. He's got a kidney stone. Okay, so we have that. And then we have this last set of pencils. Sorry. And I have this one. Then I have this one. These are the bigger size. And then I have this one. I'm going to stop saying into this one. That's getting on my nerves. I'm sure it's getting on yours. me getting on my own nerves that happens look honeycomb who wants to do some honeycomb and that's the last of the stencils hoorah hoorah aren't y'all glad all right so put all them over there then we have um what's next we have this pebbles um, chalk I have another one somewhere but um, I have another one somewhere but I'm not sure where it's at but here's the pebbles chalk that goes with those stencils oh, my nose is itching um, I have these from Stampin Up this is an old old set um, if you get get a group I don't know where you're located, but get a group, um, cause they're, they're not that expensive if you find a, like a set. Now the Rangers and stuff are, yeah, they, some, some stencils can be really, really expensive. I don't, I don't, I don't buy expensive stencils. And then these are all the chalks that, that I got with this set. So, but yeah, this is, um, like I said, I've got this, uh, I don't even know how long ago but this is not available anymore but look for um, look for um, look for like 25 it's S U P E E T 25 piece stencil try to look that up and see because these were not expensive. Okay, so those were chalks. I'll go ahead and show these because they're right here beside me. And these are the Cory Noor soft pastel pencils. So I'll go ahead and show them. And we have seen these. I've used these, so we have seen them. Um, so yeah. So there's those. Then we're going to move on to Yes, okay. Um. Hold on a minute, folks. Hmm. I don't know what to do. What to do? Sit up here, do not fall, because if you fall, I'll cry. All right, now we're going to move on to pastels, since we're there. I told him that you had a kidney stone. All right, oil pastels. These are um, Faber-Castell 50 oil pastels. We know, ow, oh, we know that I like my pastels, but this is what these look like. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, uh, just let me know. And then I have these, these ones. 
and these are these are big ones those are the the jumbos Then I have the Pentel ones, and they look like this. And then the Paul Rubens. And this is the Macaroon set. I love oil pastels, as you know. And then here's the big Paul Rubin set. Um, <laughs> well, I would say I really like the Paul Rubens. They are messier on my fingers, but I would say that um, Paul Rubens, I really like the Paul Rubens. They're nice and mushy, and I like them. So, any question about any of those? Do the pintails smell bad? I don't know. Let me smell them. Obviously not because I can't smell them. But let me smell them. What did Wilson say? Okay. No. I mean, they smell. They smell like oil. Oil. They smell like oil. <laughs> let me smell them. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, okay and now we're going to move on to these pan pastels I don't know what you want me to do with these show you like this I don't know what you want me to do but here are pan pastels I don't know what sets what I don't have all of them oh no I don't they don't bother me bad um, so yeah so here's pan pastels and I have them in these trays um, link to the trays is in the description if you get pan pastels I, right, if what did you do on your stream today oh I just sniffed old pastels um, if you get pan pastels I recommend getting the trays now what do you want me to do with them if you have questions about them or anything like that this is um, this is probably hey Della this is the skin set with additions because I ordered I was gifted some and then I loved them so then I purchased some myself but what do you um what would you like me to do? Tell you anything about them? I don't know what you want me to do. Just show you here. This is what I have. Uh, 2040. 2040. Uh, 50, 59, but some are doubles. Oh gosh, you're killing me. Yeah, I don't have all of them. I don't have a desire to have all of them either. I don't need all of them. I can, uh, you can add and make and do. Um, well, you can mix them like on a, a, the sponge that comes with them. Um, let's see. Hold on. Like this sponge comes with them and um, you can mix them um, Mona it depends what do you if you want to do skin just get the skin set bye cat thanks for hanging out if you want to do skin just get the skin set if you're wanting to do other stuff like backgrounds and stuff like that I recommend the artist set but you can buy them in like sets of seven 
you don't have to buy a big 20 pack but yes mix them on sponges this sponge that came with it but I'm no I'm no pan pass felt pan bleh, yeah that mm -hmm. yeah I would uh, recommend the the um, artist set there's another set what's that other set um, uh, I can't remember what the other set is okay where are we at pens I done watercolors okay here are did I show my Poscas here are my Poscas in my fancy little sparkly bag I'm all over the place I forgot the Poscas they were set to the side but this is the bag I just have my Poscas in yeah you can buy singles too yeah I have a few um, I have a few um, doubles I don't have I don't have many but I do have a few doubles okay next neos I have the neo color twos the 84 set I knew you would love that sparkly bag so I have the 82 set don't freak out I have one I do have it but it's um, I'm not sure why two are missing but I'm in the process of a dragon so that's why I have this but Neo Color 2's 82 set. And I have the swatch sheet for those. The Neo Colors, are they hard to use? They're not hard to use, no. I prefer gelatos. Here's the Neo Color 2 swatch sheet. Um, so yes, if you're talking about the Neos, they're not hard to use, but I do prefer gelatos. But gelatos and the Neos mix well together. So there's that swatch sheet. And I'm taking out a plastic and trying to put it back in the plastic as we go. Yes, no, they're not hard to use. Okay. Can you tell me why this page is upside down? And here are the gelatos. And I may just have to take them out and set them to the side because I can't keep putting them back in. That's oh, getting on my nerves. All right, here's the gelatos. And like I said, I prefer gelatos over, um, over, um, Neos. Sorry. Um, but yes, I prefer the gelatos over the Neos. I know gasps all around okay so this is the swatch um, for the gelatos why hmm. they are softer creamier they don't um, they don't blotch um, they're not as blotchy I don't think um, but anyway, here's the gelatos. There's all the colors that I have. I think I have 80, I don't know what, 88 maybe. And I keep them in these case, in this these cases, which are photo cases. But this is what I keep them in. And I have them, <sighs> oof, organized by color in each case. Yes, yeah, smoother, less streaky. Thanks. Words are hard for me right now. Yeah, they're smoother. So I have them in these cases anything you want to see about the gelatos I have done several gelatos
So, are we good so far? Carrying on. Um, I use them both. I use them both. I, I like using them dry now that I have found a brush that works. The stencil brushes, uh huh. The stencil brushes do not work. Um, the stencil brushes do not work for me with them, but the blender brushes. These brushes right here work with them. Um, so I do like using them dry with those brushes. But I love, I, I love me some gelatos. But I have a new thing that I really like too now, and that is this gouache. I really like this gouache. And this is the 60 um, set of the Arteza gouache. And I really like it. I will be using it a lot this month on flowers. I know that a lot of people use this dry as is. Um, I do not like it that way. I prefer to mix water with it and turn it into a watercolor. So, yeah, I really, I really do like this gouache. And sometimes it helps to shop at midnight because I got this gouache on a lightning deal. So, I do not have swatches for the gouache. Okay, let's take a moment to breathe for a second and catch up with if you have any questions so far. Yes. Yep, you can. Um, Hold on. I got a... Hold on one moment. I got a flower page that I did with them. My first page with them. If I can find it. There's the first page I did with um, gouache. after um, playing with it for a little bit. I know, <laughs> I better get to gouache swatching. Yeah, I know. So I did, um, this is straight gouache uh, with water, but I didn't put any pencil over it. Um, this I put um, Prismas over top of, um, of the gouache and then I used a gel pen for the stamens. Thanks. But yes, um, it went quick. Um, I liked that I could get um, depth, different colors with just gouache without any um, any pencil at all on the leaves. So yes, I liked it. You can add more water, you can do less water, whatever. Um, but I really, really liked the gouache. I've had to, um, yes, Connie. Oh, your one of your videos is one that I watched. Um, after purchasing it, of course, but yeah, um, but I've, I've wanted it for a while, but I just didn't know if I would like it enough to, to buy it for the regular price. So when it went on a lightning deal, I jumped on it. So anyway, okay, we're going to move on to, um, like some brush tip pins. I have these, um, tan mint, um, brush tips. Um, pins that I never use, but here they are, and they have uh, a brush tip on this side, and then like a fine liner tip on this side. Yes, yep, I would. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah, I would. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. So those are those. And then I also have um, the Arteza ones, which I just found in the Ruby Charms book that there is a swatch for these, and I did not know that. So I'm going to print that and um, swatch these brushes because I use these uh, on a palette as watercolor. Um, so I use these on a palette as watercolor. And here they are. And these were a Christmas gift last year, not this past year, but the year before last, 2019, before everything went crazy. So those are that. Are we wore out yet? <laughs> are we tired yet? Are we done yet? Then I have some fine liners. So fine liners, if I'm screaming, please let me know. I'm not sure where this fine liner is, but we have the Stedler fine liners that say they work in these books and they don't, but um, we won't talk about that. I don't even know. I'm missing two somewhere. And this is what they look like. I'm sure everybody has seen these. Um, as well. Um, Sammy does. And she used them Saturday. And then I have these fine liners that are chilling in this um, Monarch pencil box. And these are the um, rayon ones. And uh, I thought I had some that smelled, but these don't. But these are um, these are drawing pins, is what these are called. Um, so those are drawing pins. Then we have um, alcohol markers, which I do not use either. And these are Aspire colors. And they are square. And we'll see if they explode, because sometimes they do. That's why I don't use them. That's the fine one. And this is the chisel tip. They are not brush. And those are the Aspire color. Uh oh. Sorry, that was probably entirely too loud. And then I have the Cali Art. And they just sit here. And we have a fine tip. And a broad tip or chisel tip, whichever. But yes, the Aspire colors, I don't know. Do the Cali Arts, one of them, the Aspire or the Cali Art, one or both, leave yellow in my books as well. One was the black. It was the black that left them in there. Then we have gel pens, and these are the Color It gel pens. And I have those. Um, and then I have, I have this thing that is just all gel pens. from all over God's creation. And then I have these, which are the newest to the family that I love. And these are the a and Art gel pens. And I like them a lot.
Um, then I had these big and I showed these the other day and these are um, fine liners as well the big intensity and they are small as well and I showed these the other day I don't use gel pens enough to constitute buying expensive ones, so I use those. And they were they were inexpensive and they are very very glittery. Okay. Oh, now it's pencil time. Are we ready? Are we still good? Are we ready for pencils? Cuz I think I've done everything else except pencils. Any questions about any other any of that stuff? Good, good. Thanks. Um, I haven't got around. I'm going to do um I'm going to do number a number. Good gosh. Bead tassels. I just haven't done it yet, so I did these last night just so that I would know what I was picking up. These are the Sudi styles. Um, no link for these because I have, I can't find them. I don't even know that they exist anymore. Um, but I will show you the colors of them. This is the swatch for them. There's 150 minus the ones that were missing in the set. Um, so there's that and this is what they look like so they are a um, they're not a completely round pencil So that's those. Um, these are these in this case are the Castle Art watercolors and here's their swatch and this is what they look like yeah hide my sharpener so this is what these look like and they are a watercolor Castle Art. Here are the Castle Art. These are the old ones because I don't, um, these were one of the first sets that I got before they had names and such on them. So there's the swatch for those. And here is what they look like. Without names, these just have numbers. I think I blipped for a minute.
These are the Prisma colors. And here's my swatch for it. And we all know what Prismas look like. But here they are. Yep. I should put these in order, but I didn't. Uh, these are the delis. And this is a swatch for them. And they are in this case. I don't know if y'all want me open in the case or not, but they are round pencils. The Cry Arts. They are in this case. And thank you, Emily, for the swatch sheet. And this is, um, Thanks. And this is what the cry arts look like. And they look just like the castle art. But they aren't. They, um... I really like... I really like the colors. And then these are the brutes in this case and these are a square pencil oh whoops guess you need the swatch part right hold on and here is the swatch of these Yeah, I like the way they feel in my hand. These are the Spear Farbins. And here is their swatch sheet. And here is what they look like. They are a round, totally round pencil as well. Here are the Black Widows. Okay. 
And there's the swatch for that. You should get them Prismas out and use them. They have their place. And these are all of them together in one case. There is the Arteza watercolor pencil. Thank you, Emily, for the chart. I used the same one. I did not. Um, I used your old chart. And there's the there's the watercolor one, Arteza, because Brian decided to put that on there. And this is what they look like. They are a um, kind of octagonal shape too. And then um, these are just the ex the 120 set expert ones. And there's the swatch for that. And. Here's them. They are they are a round pencil. Oops. These are the ink tints. Oh, I. I just look in pencil cases and then pick the ones I don't have. <laughs> and then here's the swatch for that. Um, so I really don't know the name. I'm sorry. But I do just put um, like 120 set pencil case and it pops up. So these are the ink tints that don't get nearly enough of my love. because I love them. You have all this stuff. Um, then we have, um, here's these. These are Leisure Arts. Um, my daddy got me those with a set of um, little coloring books. Okay. These are my polys. And this is the swatch for them. Bye, Vin Pip. If you're leaving, did you say you were leaving? So there's a swatch for that, and I'm almost done. Oof. Well, that depends on y'all because y'all may have questions. And these are um, round and shiny as well. These are the Albert Cadures, which match the polys. Here is the swatch for them. And here they are, all beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Here are the Pablos. Here is the swatch. Yeah, I'll go back. Um, keep that question, and I'll go back. I'm almost done, and then we'll. And then um, you can ask me. 
Um, and then these are the Pablo's. I have a couple more sets and then we'll um, go back. Please, ma'am. These are the Supras. I blame Sammy. They go with Pablo's. These are the Light Fast. This is the swatch. Here are the colors. They are um, missing some because they have not come in yet. They have been back order out of stock. And last, but absolutely not least, these are the Lumies. Thank you for the swatch, Sammy. And here is the swatch for those. You really should swatch. And we will sit and look at these for a moment and admire their beauty. There you go. Let's just look at them for a minute and just admire their beauty and pet them and love them. <laughs> love them, pet them, call them George. Um, so, also, let me do this. Also, um, in the Ruby Charms book, which I haven't done this yet, I did make a copy, um, is, yes, I'm not, I've, as soon as I get a pencil set, I buy a case. Um, they have the luminance with the light fast combo page that I've got to um, fill out, but I haven't yet. I've got to put all these swatches back in here at some point. I know, I know, I love them. Okay, so you were asking about the Albert Durers, right? Is that what you needed to know? What did you, did you get your questions answered? I know, I was petting them. <laughs> I pet them, I pet them, I love them, I call them George. Um, I recommend if you get a, if you get a pencil set, you put them in a case. I can't. I can't be doing the um, the tins and stuff. Okay, so these are the Albert Durs, and they are the same colors as the Polys. They're just water. Yeah, we pet our pencils. They're just, um, and instead of being completely round, they are a, let me get a different color than that. They are a, um, the Polly's with Pablo's. Huh. Um, one is wax and one is oil. So, um, there's that. Um, Pablo's, I say, are probably softer. Um, did you want to see these, like, I can show you, um, what did I say? Did I say a word that wasn't right? I'm sorry. I'll show you. Hold on. i show you. I'll show you real quick. Well, I don't, this isn't watercolor paper, but... It'll do what I want it to do. Let 
and like I said, I will have um, I will have separate videos for all of this um, at some point. These are smooth like butter. Smooth like butter. Can we even say that this is not watercolor paper, people? Um, is that what you needed to see, Jess? How wonderfully smooth they are. Pablo's. Polly's. Polly is oil, a Pablo is wax, so that is a difference. Let's do a uh, sapphire blue. This is a Polly. Hey, gal. Um, of course the poly is a little harder and um, the Pablo is smushier. But do you have the Supras? Um, do you have the Supras, Rain? Put these up before I get them all mixed up. I'm going to make a statement that nobody's going to like if you do have the Supras. Hi, Barbara. Well, why, what are you doing? What are you waiting on? Here's a Supra. You think Pablo's are hard? Hmm. Okay, this is a Supra. Yeah, it's pretty overwhelming. Don't use as much water as I just did. Yeah, they are hard compared to Prisma. That's a Supra. I show my watercolor stuff. My gelatos and my neos and my gouache and my Jane Davenport's. Did you miss it? Hi, Eskies. What y'all want to see now? Albert Durer, Supra, Polly, Pablo. Mm. 
Now, Pablo's are softer. Um, yeah, those were, I was going to show those. Thanks for reminding me of that. I was going to show those, the pigment of those. Thanks for reminding me. These are the, these are the Jane Davenport. Do, which ones? Do I love what? I love it all. Yeah, Pablo's are softer than Polly's. They're close, but uh, I do think that Pablo's are softer. Yep, that's true. Oh, I was going to say, if you have supers, you don't need Pablo's. Because you can use supers dry just fine. That's an unpopular opinion, but... Um... This is not watercolor paper either, as I stated. Yeah, if you have, if, if somebody is telling you that you need to buy, well, nobody needs to tell you you need to buy anything except gelatos. You need gelatos. But other than that, just kidding. Um, you, um, you don't have to have the Pablos with the Supras. So see, those are quite pigmented. My Janies, my Janies. What is this, Supra? Yeah, Supra. I think they all have a place, they all have a place. But you can also have one pencil set and do absolutely amazing with, look at odd man out here, do absolutely amazing. Uh, now, I will say that some of them, I don't understand why people don't activate them. Like, um, the ink tints. Like, there are people who use ink tints and don't activate it, and I just can't for the life of me figure out why. Because, you know. Yep. Yeah, and the thing is, you don't have to, you can, people do amazing things with Crayolas. It's not, you don't have to have everything. Don't like go bankrupt because you won't color. You think you need color and supplies to keep up with the Joneses, <laughs> right, Connie? Because you don't. <laughs> but yes. What else y'all have? What else you want to discuss? What do you want to see? What do you want to... That went quicker than I thought. I thought y'all would have more questions. Y'all probably have all my stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Now, now, you know, a Nikon camera, uh, you know, helps, but... Uh, I know. It's, I'm just, it'll just sit here.
See, I don't have that much. I mean, I have I have a lot, but I don't have, you know, I'm not. And this stream was in no way, a shape or form to be bragging. And I hope that, that nobody thinks that. <laughs> Wilson. Me? What's my favorite book? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I have too many. I love Serene. I love Fantasia. I love Anastasia books. I love those books Connie makes me buy. I love, um, uh, uh, yeah. Those. Uh oh. Yeah, it's impossible to choose. I do like those square pencils. The Brutes. Let me get them. There is a siren about to come. What's watercolor? Right now, water, water medium is my favorite. I'm struggling right now. Um, yes, I'm going to do those. Those will be recorded and they will be broken up. I'm going to do like stamps, tapes, um, dies, stuff like that. I'm going to break those up. Good gosh. Somebody asked me if I would do my paper pads and I'm like, you don't know what you're asking. Anyway, here's the, these are the brutes. Yeah, gelatos. Um, and they are, um, I love the way they feel in my hand. I have, I don't dwell on this. I don't talk about this a lot, but I have fibromyalgia and, um, it causes, part of mine is nerves, um, and the way things feel if I touch them, um, and stuff like that. And so these I'm very impressed with because they are square they fit in my doll dolly sharpener however you say it I don't know how to say it but um, so this feels good in my hand it doesn't it doesn't um, it has a nice um, matte to it it's not real um, shiny and stuff um, but I like them. They're all, they are an oil pencil, so they are pretty much a layering pencil, but I really like the way that they feel in my hand. Yeah, they're expensive, Sammy. I looked into them too because they are beautiful, but I was like, uh, no. Yep. But they're pretty. And these, um, these are really nice. They, you just got to layer them. You know, they're a layering pencil because they're all based and they are a harder pencil, but they feel really good in the hand. And the colors are really nice too, even though I have no idea what they are. So, um, yeah. So they're nice. And I will say that water medium is um, my uh, favorite at the moment of what I like. I want to, um, I want to get better with, this is what I'm struggling with right now. I'm struggling with want, wanting to be better with certain things. Not comparing myself to someone else, but wanting to be better than I I want to grow. Maybe that's it. I want to grow. Hey, Ruthie, in, in what I'm doing. Like, I want to, um, I want to grow. I want to keep, like, growing. I don't want to just sit. Like, I want to push myself. And that's why I like, that's why I like when Sammy does her, um, group buddy colors because she pushes me. Um, 
she pushes me out of my comfort zone. And I like that. But now I make jokes and stuff about I want to be Sammy and I want to be Connie and Vicky when I grow up. But um, I'm not comparing. Don't ever think that I'm comparing because I can't preach to y'all not to compare yourselves and then me sit over here and compare myself. You know, I make comments about, I'm going to go throw all my books away. Okay, I'm done coloring flowers, you know. So don't compare yourself to other people. Just be better than who you were yesterday. Yeah, like, you know, I love coloring flowers. And then I go watch Connie and I'm like, I'm just going to send her my books. No, Brian Allen, they're not. They, um, that's true. That's true because if, if somebody, if somebody like puts a video out about something, it's like, you gotta, you gotta, um, go get it or else the price goes up. And if y'all haven't seen Louise's um, new image, she rocked some flowers too. She jumped right on in. CB. CB is Connie. CB's coloring and crafts is Connie. I pointed like y'all could see who I was pointing at. Yes, Connie, but you're humble, so that's that helps. Yep. That's exactly right, Reesey. That's what I think a lot of us do. Yeah, Louise's image is, is she jumped right in. I'm over here sitting here. I think I'm going to color this single rose. <laughs> and she's like, I'm just going to go with a full page. I did. I've shown everything. I didn't like go through it. I mean, I didn't like sample everything, but I, I'm going to do separate videos. Like I'm going to do a video with just my oil pencils and then one with just water stuff. And, and then I'm going to, I'll go in more depth, the detail of, of those things at that time. But no, the, um, I want to use my light fast. Probably, I'm gonna try to um, probably use it next. Um, show, I can show your image, yeah. Um, yeah, I love pencil cases too, Barbara. Yeah, I'm gonna do separate videos for like water medium and stuff. Let me go grab Louise's image and show you because it's. Um, um, not at the moment. Um, the rest are coming. They were on back order. <laughs> Oil and country. Um, here, let me go. I'm out of chat for just a minute. I'm going to go and look for Louise's picture. So, this is, um, if I if I'm in I don't know if I'm in or not if I'm in the frame I hope but this is her picture and it is absolutely gorgeous she jumped in with all fours please tell me you could see that Um, what did we say? Um, yeah, I answered that about the light fast, right? Yeah, the, um, the others were on back order, so they, um, should be coming. But, yes, yeah, she did amazing. Bye, Shy, be careful. Be 
careful. Okay, what else do y'all need to see before that you would like to see? A recap of whatever. Just let me know. I'm gonna, I'll go back over the PDFs that I bought. Oh, um. Yes. I'm gonna try to do this swatch with the light fast and the um, luminance together. I'm gonna try to do that soon because I really like that. That was out of the Ruby Charms book. I just made a copy of that. I'm gonna fill it out in the Ruby Charms too. Um, oh yes, the thanks for bringing that up. So the um, I've decided to start. Yes. Well, I love the Arteza gouache, and I'm going to color a bunch of flowers with it, and then we'll talk. <laughs> oh, I can't. I love all things watercolor for some reason. Um, so, ask me in March, yeah. I um, came up with the... Um, uh, TBC, which is um, to be colored. I try to do a TBR to be red, and um, I decided why don't we do TBCs every month? So I started that for the month of February, and um, and so I just picked out some books and the buddy colors that I'm going to do. And that doesn't include the PDFs and all that that I may do in between. Um, and it's not necessarily things I'm going to do on stream. It's just books that I want to um, attempt to get through. To, not through. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, I'll show you. Um, I'll recap and show you the PDFs. You are strong, Connie. I'm proud. Who's going to come put all this stuff up? Oh, Brian's coming home early, right? He can do it. Okay. We'll start at the beginning. We'll start back at the beginning, at the end. Yesterday, I colored this image. It fit my mood, so I um, colored it. This is by Zindi Nielsen. And I used oil pastels, gelatos on this. Then I purchased this uh, this by Mayumi Ogahara, and I got this. And I think I think this is the one Connie may be doing coming up this weekend. I need to put this over here. Then I got this, and this is from Emily, and I got it. I got this from Grazia. This is a this was a two set, but I only printed the one that I knew that I would color. This is Christine Karen's image. This is by Katarina Art. I love her stuff. I will color that this month for Valentine's Day. This is Coloring Chicks, and she had a two set. And I think I'm going to do one of these on Thursday. I think Thursday. I know. I think Thursday, um, uh, for these, I didn't link all these images, no, I just purchased stuff. Are you talking about for the February event? Um, I'm sure there is, um, there's a link somewhere, Shelly or Belinda maybe. Um, so this, there, Emily, Emily's got you. So I may do one of these on Thursday. I'm not sure which one I might do. I'm not, uh, I'm just doing it on my own. I'm not in the event. And then I got Rayan Art's new book. And, uh, so yeah. Yeah, I have the schedule saved for um, when I'm modding. Um, 
and so I got these images I love these two images right here these are probably two of my favorite in the book these two I like them a lot um, so yeah I really like this and I may do one of hers I'm not sure But I really love her stuff. And I think these were the ones, these three were the ones for that event. And there's another event going on, My Bloody Valentine or something like that. I don't know what that is either. But this image was part of that. But it was in this book. And I really like this image too. So. So, yep. Yeah. So those are the PDFs that I got. And like I said, I don't know which one I'll do on Thursday, but I will do one of them. And I'm thinking it'll be a color and chicks. But I'm not sure. I really love her. She's my fave. I like Katarina art stuff. Thanks. Hi, Debbie. So, what else you got for me? Anything else you got for me? Anything else at all? I need to put something on this. Let's put this over there. Up here. Put this up here. I didn't figure anybody would. Um, um, let's see. I'll tell you. Hold on. I have that written down somewhere. Let's see. How many did I have? What did I have? 942? Uh, one moment, I'll tell you. Not yet. Almost. Not yet. Not yet. Almost. Okay, I won't shoot. I'm about to be off. Yeah, I'll post it whenever I'm modding for people. Oh! Oh! I may not have. Let me show those two. Hold on. These are um, buddy colors coming up in February. If you didn't watch the video. Um, but I also got those Wizard of Oz pictures too. I'll show those Thursday. Okay, well... If that's all for me, if you have no questions, I'm going to go grab some Lata. Um, yes. Um, I know. Yep, yep, yep. I'm almost there. I'm, I think I'm at 970. Don't give me a goal, because you know I'll go shopping. <laughs> I'll go shopping. What is today? Monday. Tanya's on. Uh, later tonight. Emily's on later tonight. And I think Patrice is on in a little while. Because it is Monday, right? So y'all be looking out for all that. And I will um, chat with y'all on Thursday. I will see you in other streams along the way. And until then, please be kind to one another. Make someone smile. Thanks guys for hanging out with me today. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.